Dr. Dan Fisher, founder of Ultradent Products states, minimally invasive endodontics is paramount even for root canal instrumentation as removing as little tooth structure as possible allows us to maintain as much tooth strength as possible. It is from this minimally invasive philosophy that Ultradent has developed a complete line of endodontic products as well as products to be used before and after endodontic therapy. These include everything from hemostatics and retraction cord for establishing isolation in preparation for the root canal treatment to restorative materials used once the root canal treatment is completed. In this video, we will be addressing Ultradense obturation technique featuring Endores, the first self-priming, resin-based root canal sealer. Endores has established itself as a leading product over the last decade by being used in millions of successful treatments. Because Endores is a resin-based sealer, lubricants used during the procedure should not contain any type of peroxides. Now that the instrumentation is finished, a final irrigation procedure will complete the cleaning and preparation of the canal for obturation. Load a 1.2 milliliter syringe with liquid EDTA 18% from the indispense syringe and attach a 30 gauge navi tip. Next, load a 1.2 milliliter syringe with concepsis, 2% chlorhexidine gluconate, and attach a 30 gauge navi tip. Fill the canal with the liquid EDTA 18% and allow this to soak for 30 to 60 seconds. Where chlorocid is ideal for removing organic matter from the canal, liquid EDTA will break down inorganic matter such as the smear layer and expose the dentinal tubules. Evacuate the canal. Now fill the canal with concepsis, chlorhexidine gluconate. Allow this to soak for 5 minutes. Studies have shown that a 5-minute soak with chlorhexidine will provide up to 10 weeks of antimicrobial protection in the canal. Evacuate one last time with the lure vacuum adapter to remove the concepsis from the canal and blot out the canals using 1-2 to two paper points. Because we will be sealing the canal with endores, it is not necessary to desiccate the canal. Leaving the canal slightly damp, will provide the best environment for endores to penetrate into the tubules. We are now ready to move on to the obturation portion of the procedure. The endores system includes endores points, which are gutta percha points with a unique resin coating which allow the gutta percha to bond covalently to the endores sealer. Endores is the ideal canal sealer when apically delivered via a 29 gauge navi tip, eliminating gaps and voids. No pressure or heat is required. The sealer's hydrophilic feature will allow it to follow the residual moisture deep into the dentinal tubules and readily flow into intricate canal spaces and auxiliary canals. Because endores is completely biocompatible, any endores that may be inadvertently expressed beyond the apex will be metabolized by the body in 3 to 12 months. Begin the obturation process by trial fitting an endores point into the canal. This point should be measured and locked into cotton forceps at the pre-instrumented length. The size of the point will be determined by the last hand file used for apical enlargement. After gently sliding it to length, verify the fit by checking for a gentle tug back when removing the point. Lay the master cone aside while preparing the sealer. Now, remove the cap from the Endores dual barrel syringe and discard it. Attach and lock a clear mixing tip onto the dual barrel syringe. Express a small amount of the resin sealer to confirm that both chemicals are flowing. In order to reach the appropriate length in the canal, the color of navi tip chosen should match the color of ready pack used when instrumenting the canal. Remove the plunger from a skinny syringe and place the endores mixing tip at the back of the skinny syringe. Gently express a few centimeters of endores into the skinny syringe. It is not necessary to completely fill the syringe. Next, attach a 29 gauge navi tip to the end of the brown skinny syringe. Leave the mixing tip on the dual barrel syringe of endores as a storage cap. The chemical will set in it, but the tip will be replaced during the next procedure. After making sure the navi tip was securely placed, put the plunger back into the skinny syringe and express the air from the syringe. You may wish to express a small amount of endores through the navi tip to confirm that it is flowing properly. 
set the navi tip silicone stopper 2 to 3 millimeters short of the working length. Be sure the navi tip remains 2 to 3 millimeters shy of the apex and does not bind. Begin gently expressing endores into the canal. Do not force the material out. Keep the tip of the navi tip buried in endores as you backfill the canal to eliminate the formation of air bubbles or voids as the canal fills. Caution. Do not deliver endores into the canal if the navi tip fit is tight. Doing so may express endores beyond the apex. If endores is not flowing up the canal around the navi tip, stop delivering and check to see if the tip is clogged or that material is not being expressed past the apex. Do not use excessive force on the skinny syringe plunger to express material as this may push material past the apex. Stop filling the canal about one millimeter short of the canal orifice. There is no need to fill the pulp chamber with sealer as cleanup will be more difficult. At this point, you have up to 15 minutes of working time before the endores begins to polymerize. Place your pre-fitted endores master cone back into the canal and set it to the working length. If necessary, use an x-ray to confirm that the endores point has been fully seated at the apex. Add additional number 25 accessory points into the canal to fill the open space. Once you have confirmation that your gutta percha is properly placed, light cure the surface of the endores for 40 seconds. This will not fully polymerize the endores in the canal, but create a thin crust of set material that will act to prevent an oxygen inhibited layer from being present on the surface of the sealer. Endores should be completely polymerized in 30 minutes. Using a heated instrument or searing device, trim the excess gutta percha from the pulp chamber. For a faster set time, Endores Accelerator may be used to facilitate a 5-minute set. Endores Accelerator is an ideal way to move directly from obturation to a post-placement procedure without having to schedule a second appointment with your patient. When using Endores Accelerator, omit light curing the material and follow the subsequent steps. Please note that Endores Accelerator can be applied using either a pre-measured master cone or accessory points. Using cotton forceps, place an endores gutta percha point into the chemical. Please note, if you use accelerator on the master endores point, you will need to move quickly for radiographic confirmation as the accelerator will cause the endores to polymerize in less than five minutes. When using accessory points, use a minimum of two to three points to assure a rapid and complete set. Once you have placed all of the gutta percha points that you desire, replace the cap on the endores accelerator vial and dispose of the vial. After five minutes have elapsed, test the set of the sealer, then use a heated instrument or searing device to trim the excess gutta percha. When trimming the gutta percha, take care that you don't inadvertently dislodge the cones from the canal. To seal the pulp chamber, begin by cleaning the walls and floor of the pulp chamber with cotton pellets soaked in isopropyl alcohol. After the endores has set, sealing the floor of the pulp chamber is important to prevent coronal leakage. Etch the entire tooth structure inside the pulp chamber. Leave ultra etch for 20 seconds. After 20 seconds, rinse tooth thoroughly with copious amounts of water. Then, place your bonding agent of choice. A syringe-delivered bonding system such as PEAK makes this procedure quick and easy. Light cure the adhesive. Permaflow purple or another flowable resin should be used to seal the floor of the pulp chamber. The purple color of permaflow purple simplifies locating the canal access should future therapy be needed. This will help to prevent damage to the seal and pulpal floor. Permaflow purple can then be placed over each orifice of the entire pulpal floor. Be sure to clean excess permaflow purple from the chamber prior to light curing. Additional flowable or resin modified glass ionomer may be placed. Temporization of the coronal aspect of the tooth can then be achieved by placing cotton pellets and closing with a firm temporary cement such as Ultratemp polycarboxylate temporary cement or Ultratemp res. 
Throughout this procedure, we've demonstrated how effective, minimally invasive endodontics can be performed in a safe but efficient manner. By using the natural anatomy of the tooth as a guide, dentin is preserved, thus maintaining the strength of the natural tooth. Ultradance endodontic products solve everyday endodontic problems, giving you the ability to treat most endodontic cases with simplicity.